Perhaps one of the most recognizable character actors for Western and rural television during the 1950s and 60s, Hank Patterson made a career out of playing rural hicks and country bumpkins, most memorably in the classic TV shows Green Acres and Petticoat Junction. Born Elmer Kelvin Patterson on October 9, 1888 in Springville, Alabama, one of seven children, his father was a real estate salesman and by the 1890s the family had moved to Taylor, Texas, where most of his childhood was spent, and registered for the draft in 1917, receiving his draft card in Lubbock, Texas. Originally wanting to be a serious pianist, Hank ended up in vaudeville, but he was still playing the piano. Hank worked his way to California during the 20s and began his film career in 1939 in an uncredited role in the Roy Rogers film, The Arizona Kid, at the age of 51. What followed was 197 credits over the next 34 years, appearing in everything from Perfect Strangers with Ginger Rogers to Love American Style. But his most remembered roles were on westerns. You name a western from the two golden decades of television and he was on it. The Lone Ranger, Cyan, Tales of Wells Fargo, Have Gun, Will Travel, Hopalong Cassidy, The Gene Autry Show, The Roy Rogers Show, Gunsmoke, The Adventures of Kit Carson, Lawman, Maverick, Bonanza, The Westerner, and the list goes on and on. But the role that immortalized him wouldn't come until 1963 as pig farmer Fred Ziffel. Not on Green Acres, though, but Petticoat Junction. 1965, however, would have him playing the same character on both shows, and his mark on television history was sealed, but with some difficulty. By the time he was appearing on Green Acres, Hank was well into his 70s, and his hearing was almost completely gone, which could provide timing issues if he couldn't hear his cue. But the cast producers and fans were not willing to let him go. The producers hired a dialogue coach for Hank's scenes, who would lie on the floor, unobserved by the camera, and tap Hank's leg with a stick for his cue. And so for six seasons and 84 episodes, Hooterville's resident pig farmer, Fred Ziffel, would accompany Arnold to the Douglas farm. The infamous rural purge brought the end of Green Acres in 1971, but not the end of Hank Patterson, who by now was 89 years old. He would appear on Love American Style and appear three more times on Gunsmoke, for a total of 35 appearances on the legendary Western. Hank Patterson died on August 23, 1975, of bronchial pneumonia in Woodland Hills, Los Angeles, California. He was survived by his wife of 60 years. Although Hank may have had a late start in his film and television career, not only did he make a success out of it, he became one of the defining character actors of two decades. It just goes to so, it's never too late to try. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below. And don't forget to come back for more on This Was Their Life.